What is up YouTube? This is Trainer Connor and it's time for another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi Battle video. Thank you guys for coming to this Wi-Fi Battle video. If you enjoy this, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe for more videos. We have ourselves another passerby challenger by the name of Sam. Fantastic battle. Make sure you watch the whole thing because it was just a great battle. So we have Tornadus, Theory and Form. We have a Raichu, Alola and Form, Drapion, Clefable, uh, Clawitzer, and Bufalonk. My opponent has a Solgolio as a legendary as well as Nihiligo, which is one of the Ultra Beasts, but that's okay. I will definitely take the challenge with the Pokemon I have. This looks very well on paper. Now, obviously, you have to play the game in order to find out who really wins the battle. So, um, we, we do see Solgolio as a huge threat, but we just, we have great answers for him. We have, um, we do have Knockoff on Tornadus during the form, as well as Drapion. We have, uh, the Hilgo is a Rock Poison type, so we have Psychic on Raichu to take care of that. And then we have, you know, the new guys like Claw Clawster and uh, Bufalon to kind of dish out more damage. Okay, so I'm going to start out with Tornadus theory and form here. Go straight for the knockoff. I wanted to see if this Sylveon that is across from the field has a held item. He does have leftovers. So leftovers, that tells me that this Sylveon is more defensively inclined. And that is good to see, you guys. I, I would like to get rid of leftovers when I get the chance. Um, if it was like a pixie plate, that's fine too. It would be less damage to the opposition or in my end. So we go with a U-turn here. He actually went for the poison, which is, I guess, unfortunate because I would have gotten to drop you on if I knew that was coming. Unless I get poisoned anyway with the regenerator. I'm not too worried about it. So that is fine with me. We go into Karulai. Karulai is my Drapion. And we take the we take the boom blast a lot better than I thought I was gonna take it, but that is okay. I predicted so Golio just switch in here. That is way too easy to, you know, just go for the knockoff and knock off the, uh, I don't know if he had an item or not, but, you know, we went for the knockoff. It is super effective. I'll take that. Expecting a sun scale strike, we will go back into Tornado Syrian form, who is still poisoned. But like I said, we have the the regenerator, you guys, so it's not a big deal. But holy crap, that does a lot of damage. I was, I wasn't sure if it was, you know, because he's not held, he's not holding an item, so it's hard to tell if he has a cat investment. Sure, he has some, but how much is the question? He goes with a Zen headbutt, which is a little bit risky because he could. Miss it, but he hits it anyway, so that's, you know, neither here nor there. We go into Claw Officer, outspeed Solgolio, get a critical hit that would not have mattered because I have a uh, max special attack with the Mega Launcher and uh, the Water Pulse from a Claw Officer. Claw Officer is a Pokemon that I just like using, it's just, I don't bring him too often. So, we'll see how he does right here. Unfortunately, I have to get poisoned again by Sylveon, but that is okay. Unfortunately, there is a stage in the match where I, we get a double down, and I, I guess I am spoiling a little bit of the match, but yes, yeah, Sylveon lives! That special defense from that... The, the new Sylve Sylveon is this... It's too good. I gotta tell you this right now. It's too good on the special side of things. Yeah, so we get a double down because he survived that water pulse. We hit another one, of course, but in the end, we get a double down. Don't get me wrong. Those are the best types of downs. Um, we go into Boothalot here. I have 
swords dance and he goes to the crab on level. That was a stupid decision by my part because little did I know Crab Honorable is part fighting, so close combat actually will take me out when I went for the sword stance. If I went for the say the earthquake or the head charge, I would have done some major damage to the crab crab honorable. That is okay, I can go into close table. This is Loviera. He goes for the Ice Hammer. Hopefully he doesn't freeze me. And man, that does a lot of damage. With, with the special defense drop and the physical defense drop, I know I can take him out with a Moonblast without a Calm Mind. Because I do have Calm Mind, I just neglected to use it at this time. But that is okay. Just from the close combat, the, the effect from close combat is there. It's showing that he cannot take a minus one drop boosted, you know, moon blast. I really should have rephrased that better, but that's fine. And uh, the Hello is here, an ultra beast. It's very scary. I have to go into Kurai so I can knock off its item. I could have gone into my right shoe then, but I guess, I'll, t I'll tell you this right now, I had this battle late at night, so I might have just, would have probably done this a lot sooner, but I just end up staying in a lot, and I try to poison this thing as well, but that is after a few turns here. So we go with a knockoff, he does not have an item, which is unfortunate, because I would love, to, well actually, you know, it would have been fun to knock off an item, because that's the sole purpose of knockoff, right? But he doesn't have one, so, I mean, that's okay. You know, he, he doesn't have anything beneficial to him. But the sole purpose of knockoff is to knock off an item, so I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, so I tried to go with a poison jab, and um, I really should have gone into Raichu then. I just go back into La Viera. I don't know why I did that. I should have gone into my Raichu. Although if I did that, I would have gotten a critical hit power jam into the face. I would have been fun. Because I know Raichu is pretty frail. I, I gotta give you that. So here I go into Raichu. Fantastic. Because I know he's going to go for another acid spray. The Hilgo is just not very useful offensively. It can be a really good supporter on the team if you're using like, you know, Acid Spray and, you know, Stealth Rock. Mine has Stealth Rock. You guys saw me use the Hilgo before. But look at, look at that. that that's a, a, a Psychic in that clip amount. If I did that initially, that had been awesome, but I just didn't do it. Now, I should not stay in on the Sigli Y because the Sigli Y is going to go for a Spirit Shackle here. And that is going to do some major damage to Karulai. We do survive, which is, I guess, awesome in my own defense there. But I have to stay in. That's the effect of Spirit Shackle, you guys. We have to stay in. We're trapped in. We can't switch. Um, he, you know, Fire Fang, I was just going for that, I could have gone with a Poison Jab, but I was fishing for a burn. That's the reason I'm for the Fire Fang. Man, I never get that. You know, if you go for Fire Fang, you should have a higher chance of burning the opponent. Okay, so we're going to Loviera. I have Loviera and Raichu left, whereas he has... Um, his the CGY and Co-Cannon, which Co-Cannon I haven't really faced yet in this battle, so we'll see how this goes. If he has Brave Bird, he will take a lot of damage, because that's what Brave Bird is. There, although I do have low HP if I went for the Recover, which I don't have Recover, it's a good idea to kind of bluff that move though. Um, he has Drill Pack instead, so all that does not matter if I just... You know, yeah, go pack is a great move. So is um, Beak Blast. Um, that does take two turns to use. I go to Volt Tackle knowing that I have Attack Investment to really dish out the effect of Volt Tackle here. But I, you know, Co Cannon has a lot of HP, so therefore he's going to live with a little bit of HP and then 
he has his Z power move Cork Screw Crash? I believe that's what it is. Oh, Super Sonic Sky Strike. That is even better because that scab. Well, Tokyo is part of normal too, so I guess either one of those would be fine. I would be taken out anyways. Sorry, you guys. You know, I'm really hyped up for this because that was a great ending. But yeah, Super Sonic Sky Strike over Cork Screw Crash. It doesn't matter. We finish a match. On a high note that we, we got the moral victory, it was a close battle, I, I had fun. So if you guys had fun watching this video, all you gotta do is like the video, subscribe, and I will see you in the next Wi-Fi Battle video whenever I get the chance to do it. Have yourselves a great day, have a great week, I'll see you next time, Pokemon Cares.